Hello, everyone. Today's episode, I'm speaking with psychotherapist and best-selling author, Dr. Mike Dow. Dr. Dow is the author of The Brain Fog Fix, Healing the Broken Brain, and Diet Rehab, all topics we need to talk about, for me anyways. <laughs> but today, we're going to talk about why a break from routine with family is so important for your total health. So everyone, welcome Dr. Mike Dow. Hi. Hello, Natalie. Thank you so much for having me. And it's not just you. I think it's everybody right now who <laughs> needs those books <laughs> and those topics. Absolutely. It's, we're, you know, I hate saying the phrase unprecedented times, but it's true. It's very true. Yep. Can you tell us why is travel, even if it's a really quick trip, what, what good does that do for our mental health? So it's really about balancing our mental health with our physical health. So there are so many researched brain benefits of taking a little quickie getaway. I don't know about you, Natalie, but I've been feeling, you know, on my eighth hour of, of telehealth, I, I think a lot of people are doing Zoom, they're doing oh. Zoom classrooms, they're single parents, or they have five kids, um, and your living room is your husband's office, it's your office, it's the classroom, and we're feeling fatigued, we're feeling frazzled and then we turn on the evening news and there's all this anxiety so it's no wonder that we're seeing statistically just unprecedented to your point rates of depression anxiety alcohol sales are up prescription antidepressants have been sold out at pharmacies so this is real stuff and what we know from a brain health point of view is that taking a little quickie getaway can enhance creativity um, it can boost attention span which i think parents will really appreciate in their kids um, yes. We know that it improves relationships. So if you've been cooped up with your significant other and things are a little on edge right now, or your <laughs> kids are having meltdowns, we know that giving them an experiential gift, like a little quickie getaway, and I'm not talking about, you know, a, a week long Tahiti vacation because that's not even possible anymore. Exactly. Um, I'm talking about a little local drivable destination. And what it does in the brain, you know, in addition to those benefits, it also enhances neurogenesis, the birth of new brain cells. It can help us grow the brain. You know, as you create a mental map of a city you don't know that well, that actually strengthens your hippocampus, which is associated mm -hmm. with memory and learning. So there are just so many benefits in terms of mood, in terms of brain health, that I think we need probably now more than ever. Well, and I think you just made a really great point about the fact that we're all home together, many of us, right? Working from home, hubby's working from home. My kids are older, uh, teenage and adults, and they're working from home. The only one who's not at home is my son, <laughs> who's only eight. However, getting that time together outside of our house to, you know, spend time together, do something fun where we're not having to cook and clean, what, what does that do for, for family time? How does that, you know, increase and boost that quality time with each other? Yeah, so it actually just creates these once in a lifetime opportunities to create in the brain what we call happiness anchors. Ooh, so, I like that. Yeah, it, isn't it so interesting that these positive memories, um, when you ask people, adults, you know, what's the best memory of, of your family? You know, I know, you know, my late grandmother, she took us uh, to Disney World um, when I was a little boy, and I will never forget that trip, right? So we know, and, and by the way, just last week, I had not seen my parents through this whole pandemic. They had not left the house. So I got them to meet me for a quickie getaway in Palm Springs, just a few hours mm -hmm. away, drivable for both of us. We, you know, we had separate uh, rooms. We only got together outside at restaurants and it was so good to see them. We celebrated my stepfather's 76th birthday together. And, you know, just having that quality time, it, it was everything. And it sort of, for me, it was really meaningful because it's that reminder of what makes life worth living for all of us, you know? Yes. And, and, it, and it sort of just enhances those relationships. And I just left that weekend saying, I am so glad we did this. I'm so glad. Yes. You know, my 92 year old grandfather, he's in a senior living facility and he really can't, we can't see him and he can't see us. So, you know, but I can see my parents. So I really wanted to enhance that. And I will see my grandfather as soon as I'm able. But I think for all of us, we just need to work on those relationships to keep them positive, especially because, you know, we're all cooped up right now. Well, 
The other piece of this too, though, is routine. So yeah. when I think about routine, we went from everybody's working, everybody's good, everyone's got their, their stuff going on, there's events, there's work, there's all this stuff. Then all of a sudden, nope, can't do any of that anymore. Then you yeah. start a new routine and then we get into that working from home routine and then boom, nope, some of you can go back to work. Like, how does, how does that affect how we think and how we react every day? Just the, the fact of routines, because I always hear how important they are to have. They really are, you know, so isn't it so interesting that all of us sort of put on a different hat, you know, when you put on your, your work outfit, whatever that is, for me, it's a stress shirt for you, that, that beautiful green shirt that you're wearing. And, you know, it's, it sort of does something, right? And when you leave the house and you cross into the office barrier, you're sort of that version of yourself. Well, we don't have that routine. You know, we can't go to the gym for, for many of us. We can't really have that separation between personal life and work life. So, you know, I've been recommending really silly things, like for people who've been, you know, stuck with whatever it is, writer's block, or, you know, you, you can't finish that spreadsheet and you're feeling tired and fatigued, <laughs> to do a silly thing like put on your work clothes, go out the door, walk around the block, open the door again, sit down, and now you're at work. It creates this yep. barrier in the brain that, that, that communicates to the brain, oh, this is a different energy. I'm going to oscillate, you know, in brainwave uh, readings, we know that when you're working, we see these really uh, fast brain waves, these beta brain waves. And when we're at home, we hopefully are going to have more relaxed brain waves, like alpha brain waves. And it's sort of leaving the house and being in work mode and then leaving work and coming back to home that usually allows us to have that, but we don't have that right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's interesting about a quickie getaway, a lot of hotels are advertising, you know, this is your new classroom, this is your new office. Um, we know from a brain health point of view that that makes sense, that leaving actually does a lot of things in terms of enhancing learning, creativity, uh, and, you know, just having that place. Some hotels even have set up these, these little classroom areas that are yes. for people and for families and kids. Um, I think it does wonders for the brain. I know I feel like a different person when I'm in my office. Um, and, and isn't it nice that we can sort of use that strategy in smaller ways right now, just in our everyday choices? Well, being able to break up that routine does a lot for your mental health, right? It just gives you different scenery, different environment. Like you said, boost those creative juices. Yeah. But let's talk about, you know, the fact that we talk about being remote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Term remote. Mm -hmm. So things are being taught remotely. We're working remotely. But how do you now say, okay, now incorporate travel into that? How do we, how do, we do that? Yeah, so... I don't love working remotely, but I, I have to say that my patients and I have adapted to it. And, you know, this new normal that we have, that's probably going to be with us for a long time, probably throughout now, they're saying throughout 2021. Um, it, it's interesting that working wow. remotely has taken this turn uh, and we can actually get some fantastic rates to work remotely. Hotels are realizing this. Uh, for me, I've taken some quickie getaways and some of them are work getaways too, as I'm working from hotel rooms. Um, and the great thing about Hotwire is that by booking a hot rate, you can save a lot of money now at a time when hotel occupancies are, are really quite low. Right. Um, and you know, personally, I also felt really good that I was supporting my local economies while doing it in a safer way. Um, so you can see, of course, uh, I don't think there's a hotel room out there that doesn't have high speed internet these days, but you can yeah. also on Hotwire see the safety badges. So if you are somebody who is concerned, um, I know that the hotels that I went to on my quickie getaways had plexiglass at the front desk. They yes. had hand sanitizer stations everywhere, at the elevators, in the hallways, at the front door. Um, and you can see those badges before you go on Hotwire on the app. Um, so it's just really nice to know that we can sort of work remotely, get a little change of scenery so that we can sort of get out of our rut. Um, yes. If you're creating an anxiety, if you're like, well, I can't crack the code on this new campaign. I need to be a little bit more creative. Changing your scenery can help your brain to do that. You know of a survey, though, that I, when I saw this stat, I was like, oh, my goodness. Can you <laughs> tell my listeners what you found out on this survey? So 
what, there were so many data points on this survey. And 62%, were, I think, yeah. is the number. So most Americans have not taken a single vacation day since the beginning of the pandemic. And that was <sighs> one of the surprising statistics. We also know, this is a good statistic from the survey, that the vast majority of Americans are taking precautions when they do travel. And, and, and so, you know, these precautions and needing that break, you know, I think the, the notion is, oh, well, so many people have off right now, they're remote learning, so people must be traveling. Yes. At the very beginning of the pandemic, there was a little bit of fear. Now we know how we can travel safely to balance our mental health with our physical health. But again, we have this American mindset. I have these friends in France and I always laugh. Both of them studied a, a, a year in the U.S., and they have this joke about Americans where we like, we wear our work polos and our, our work hats. And it's like, we live and breathe our work, but we don't, we are notorious in terms of research for not taking vacation like Australians, like Europeans. Um, and that probably has something to do with, we are not the happiest country. And when we look at the countries who have higher happiness levels, they take their vacation seriously, that break. I think that tells us something uh, about right now. And could it be that the unprecedented levels of depression, anxiety, that we could possibly relieve some of that by yeah. taking these quickie getaways? I think it's a great thing. It doesn't require prescription. Um, you can go on Hotwire right now and see what great travel deals. And I have to tell you the other thing, you know, I, I live in LA. I did two quickie getaways, one to, to Santa Barbara, one to Palm Springs. And both places, uh, through Hotwire, I was able to book a five-star hotel at a three-star price. I think I paid two eighty-seven dollars in Palm Springs for my birthday. So I was spending more than usual. And people were paying $600 a night for this hotel. So, you know, that made me feel good. I got a little burst of dopamine knowing that I got a great deal for my birthday trip. So that First was First of all, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and secondly, you know what? I think organizations are really starting to see after all that has gone on, how important it is to have our, you know, employees that are requesting that time off to actually give that time off and for employees not to feel the guilt for none of us to feel the guilt of requesting that time away because we need it clearly even more now than ever. Yeah. So last but not least, I, uh, you, you did mention, mention this already about, you know, just staying safe and how to um, make sure that you're being safe when, when and if you do travel. And so my question to you would be, uh, are there some other details or tips? You talked about, you know, some hotels and, and, and whatnot have uh, plexiglass, but I believe Hotwire provides some initial information about each location as well, right? They do. So you can see these safety badges on the Hotwire app or hotwire.com. That can really help people to feel safe. The other thing that I would say, and this was what we also found in our research, my research with Hotwire, was that focusing on local drivable destinations is yes. great, not only because it's easier, but because you know, when I go to Palm Springs, I know generally these safety protocols, and I'm not traveling to a place where there's a uh, mandated quarantine or yeah. oh, here you have to do this. So by staying a little bit more local, I think it also helps people to stay safer. Um, we clearly know what works now, right? This is, this is not, this is old hat for a lot of had some practice. <laughs> That's right. We, we, we got our masks in our pocket. We have our hand sanitizer. So there are so many ways to stay safe. There we go. I know I have, yeah. I have a whole long <laughs> collection. I think I have about 50 here now. And it's really about being more prepared than scared. So, you know, when you go to Hotwire and you see oh, all I love that. Images, it, it helps human beings. When human beings focus on what they can control, that's being prepared. It really helps to alleviate the feeling of being scared and all the things that are out of our control. Yes. And I, I would say that all of us just do better. We feel better. Um, we do better at work when we focus on those things within our control. Well, I thank you so much for your time today because I know you are a busy man. I really, really, really look forward to speaking to you again because Lord knows I get a lot of brain fog from time to time. <laughs> uh, uh, but is there any additional uh, information or websites where we can find you, where we can find more information? Yeah, some of my research uh, on Hotwire. Uh, dot com, the app, the Hotwire Instagram. We have a great little infographic if you want to check out more of that data. And I just want to say thank you, Natalie. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Can't wait to see you again. Absolutely. Thank you and have a great day. You too. Bye.